The 2009-2010 College of Charleston women's basketball team entered the season with high expectations after a 23-win season in 2008-2009 and a run to the Southern Conference Championship game. With that in mind, these Cougars set out to surpass the accomplishments and continue the program's development into a championship caliber team. Comprised of 15 players from 8 different states, including 5 from South Carolina, the team was led by 6 seniors. Jade Hughes, Deidre Jones, Brooke Cotsella, Nishonda McLaurin, India Mudd, and Erica Williams. Depth was provided at the guard position by juniors Tony Gertie, Megan King and Brianna Davey, and freshmen Megan Fisher and Taylor Mims. At forward by sophomore Ariel Hatcher, and freshman Callie Crowell and Katherine Hardy, and at center by freshman Letitia Harris. These Cougars embarked upon arguably the most difficult schedule in the school's history. Paired with the usually rigorous Southern Conference slate, Charleston squared off against opponents from the ACC, Big Ten, and Big 12, as well as foes out of the Atlantic Sun, Big South, and Southland Conferences. The tough competition for Charleston started with the first game of the season as CFC opened at home against ACC member Clemson in front of over 900 fans. Tied at 38 with 13 minutes remaining in the game, Charleston went on a 20-3 run over the next 9 minutes to take the decisive lead. Down the stretch, the Cougars made 7 of 8 free throws to ice the game and notched their first ever win over an ACC opponent. Tony Gertie led the Cougars with 22 points while Deidre Jones had a double-double with 13 points and 11 rebounds. Jade Hughes chipped in 12 points, including the 1,000th of her career. For Thanksgiving, Charleston was invited to participate in the Doubletree White Invitational held at Northwestern University in Chicago, where the Cougars took on the host Wildcats. Trailing 41-27 with about 15 minutes remaining, the Cougars went on a 21-0 run over the next 10 minutes. Northwestern retook the lead with a minute 15 to go, only to have Jade Hughes make her third straight basket for the Cougars, a three-pointer with 58 seconds left. Tony Gertie and Erica Williams made free throws to give the Cougars a 54-50 victory and their first ever win over a Big Ten team. The College of Charleston opened Southern Conference play with two home wins against UNC Greensboro and Elon. Against UNCG, the Cougars led by as many as 24 points, getting 13 apiece from Gertie and Brooke Codsella. In the Elon contest, Erica Williams scored 15, while Nishanda McLaurin scored a career-high 11. India Mudd chipped in with 8, and Gertie dished out a season-high 9 helpers as the Cougars rolled. After taking 12 days off for final exams, the Cougars picked up right where they left off, beating Furman on the road before facing Western Carolina in a rematch of last year's Southern Conference Championship game. Gertie had 14 points, Williams 13 and Cotsella 12 as CFC started Southern Conference play at 4-0, their best start ever. After the win over Western Carolina, the Cougars stepped away from conference play to face crosstown rival Charleston Southern. Games between the Cougars and Buccaneers are always hard fought. Though the Cougars led by as many as 19 early in the second half, CSU would not go away quietly, cutting that lead all the way down to three, but CFC held them off for their ninth win of the season. The Cougars were led by 16 points from Brooke Cotsella, while Jade Hughes added 13 of her own. Cotsella and Deidre Jones also had 9 rebounds apiece, and the game would be the final tune-up for the long Southern Conference stretch run. After tough road losses at Samford and Chattanooga, the Cougars beat Georgia Southern on the road, then finally returned home against Wofford. Charleston started on an 11-2 run over the Terriers and never looked back en route to a 13-point win. The Cougars had a season-high 19 steals in the game, forcing 33 Wofford turnovers. Cotsella again paced the attack with 15 points while Hughes made four three-pointers. In the next game against Davidson, Charleston played arguably its best half of basketball to date, leaving 48-29 at halftime. The Cougars made 11 three-pointers and got career highs from both Brooke Cotsella and Erica Williams. Cotsella had five three-pointers and scored 27 points, while Williams had three three-pointers of her own on the way to scoring 25. Tony Gertie had 16 points to go along with eight assists, and overall it was a big day as Charleston returned to the style of play it has come to expect. After the big win over Davidson, a longer winning streak from these Cougars could have been expected, but it wasn't meant to be against upstart Appalachian State. Despite leading by 14 points with just under nine minutes remaining in the game, the Cougars cannot hold off the Mountaineers, who fought back to tie the game and force overtime. 
Down by three, Jade Hughes' three-pointer was blocked at the buzzer, and Charleston lost a game it knew it should have won. For these Cougars with six seniors leading the way, it was gut check time. How would they respond to the unexpected loss? The team responded in fine fashion, defeating UNC Greensboro and Elon on the road to sweep those teams for the season. The Cougars then returned home to face non-conference foe Savannah State. All 15 Cougars played in the contest, and 12 of them scored in the 20-point win. Williams led all scorers with 16, while freshman Letitia Harris had a career-high 12 to go along with 8 rebounds. In addition, junior Megan King also had 8 points, including two three-pointers. After the Savannah State win, the Cougars got back to business in Southern Conference play as they took on Furman. CFC led by double figures for most of the second half and cruised to a 15-point win. Williams again led the way with 19, while Hughes hit four three-pointers and scored 16 of her own. Coxella went to work on the board, snagging a career-high 14 rebounds. After defeating Furman, Charleston got its first win at Western Carolina since 2002, sweeping the season series with the Catamounts. Then, Charleston returned home and faced perennial Southern Conference title contender, Chattanooga. A crowd of over 1,000 strong was on hand to watch the Cougars face the Mocs, the largest number of fans yet to see a women's basketball game in the Carolina First Arena. They were all treated to a great show as Charleston held UTC to just 25% shooting and just 13 field goals in the game. Hughes led all scores with 20 points, while the Cougars made eight three-pointers in the win. Chattanooga's 13-game winning streak was over. After the Chattanooga win, injuries plagued the Cougars' late-season hopes. Charleston lost four of its final five games and suffered a disappointing loss in the Southern Conference Tournament. But Charleston had been here before. Gut check time. A postseason tournament berth was assured, and CFC had to regroup. For the first time in the school's Division I history, the College of Charleston women's basketball program was invited to play in a national postseason tournament as the second seed in the East Regional of the inaugural Women's Basketball Invitational. After defeating number 7 Moorhead State on the road, the Cougars were awarded a home game facing the sixth seed Bradley out of the Missouri Valley Conference. The first half was all CFC and Bradley would get no closer than 10 in the second half as Erica Williams' athleticism was no match for the visiting Braves. She scored 21 points and pulled down 8 rebounds. In addition, Cotzella chipped in 15 while Jones and Gertie each added 11. The College of Charleston advanced to the East Region Championship game one win away from the WBI National Title game. 21 wins this season marked Charleston's second 21 season in a row, the best two-year run in the school's Division I history. Of course, the list of accolades for the 2009-2010 Cougars is indeed a long one.